Hello friends, this is a case of left sided direct inguinal hernia. This is a small direct inguinal hernia which you can see and we will perform robotic trans abdominal preperitoneal hernia surgery. So, this is the sigmoid colon and on the left side whenever you perform the surgery patient should be placed in such a way that head should be down and left should be up. And it is important in robotic surgery that patient position should be done before docking. Otherwise, after docking, changing of the patient position is very difficult. So, we will start the making the preperitoneal space and left hand has a bipolar atraumatic grasper and right hand has a seizures. And here the seizures is attached with the monopolar. So, the preperitoneal incision is started laterally and now you will reach up to the medial umbilical ligament. So, in the robotic surgery the advantage of doing hernia surgery is that you have the 3D vision. So, you can see very nicely and tremor filter. So, even if you perform there will be no tremor and after that you have the motion scaling. So, your motion can be refined to the fine and ultra fine movement. So, peritoneal incision is carried out and it is reaching up to the medial umbilical ligament. So, robotic hernia surgery has many advantages over the laparoscopy and one of the biggest advantage is a complete 3D vision and motion scaling. So, we can see here the incision is complete up to the medial umbilical ligament. Medial to medial umbilical ligament we should never cross otherwise we can injure the urinary bladder. So, now this is the lateral dissection and slowly slowly once you will pull the peritoneum infero medially then together with your mobilization the sigmoid also will keep on dropping down. So, you do not have to separately mobilize the sigmoid here we can see we are near the inferior epigastric vessels. So, you have to be careful that inferior epigastric vessels should not be injured and this lateral dissection is carried out and in the robotic generally we want in India to use the minimum number of the instruments. So, here only two instruments are used one is the grasper and another is seizures and now this is the medial dissection and the bladder is getting more medialized so that you can have the Cooper ligament visible and we can see now this is the pearly white shiny color of the Cooper ligament which is visible in ferromedially and just uh, medial to that is the bladder and you can enter into the space of radius by medializing the bladder. If you have any little oozing you can just touch it by the bipolar and this oozing will stop. This area is also the area of the aberrant obturator vessel and corona mortis vein. So, you have to be little careful that without looking at the predictive anatomy you should not blindly do the dissection. So, almost entire dissection is complete and we have to make sure that at least 6 centimeter all around the center of the defect a good preperitoneal pocket should be formed. So, that you can use a optimum size of the mesh and care should be that center of the mesh should be in the center of defect and that is why it is important to have a nice mobilization of the peritoneum even at the level of triangle of doom. Even if you are doing direct hernia the proper peritoneal dissection of the triangle of doom is necessary and here we can see that it is reached to the triangle of doom and this area is vast difference. You will see now the this is the vast difference visible here and peritoneum is separating down and below this is the spermatic cord that is the vast difference is visible and medially there is a spermatic vessel. This is a spermatic vessel. So, this is a small fat pad and the dissection of the peritoneum is pulled down and uh, now almost entire peritoneal flap is adequately mobilized all around to put the mess. So, direct hernia is very simple compared to indirect hernia. 
because in that sac has no adhesion with the vas and spermatic vessel so it will come out very easily so now this is the vas difference and laterally sperma in between that it is the iliac vessel if you will see carefully you can see the transmission of iliac vessel can be recognized so now adequate pocket is form all around and then this is a time our assistant should put the mesh generally in robotic surgery assistant has a lot of role and you need a very good assistant because firing the tacker and introduction of the mesh assistant has to do so here because it is a simple case and it is a tap hernia surgery so we will use a simple polypropylene mesh because it will be ultimately covered by peritoneum and the healthy peritoneum is the best known adhesive barrier so this is the mesh which is spreaded and care should be taken that center of the mesh should must be in the center of defect and it should cover adequately and the mesh should not remain folded mesh should be nicely spreaded all around so now it is almost spreading without any fold and now we will ask our assistant to put the tacker so the first fixation ideally it should be done over the cooper ligament that is most inferomedially and through the mesh also we can see shiny cooper ligament is visible that's why it's also called lighthouse because it is very shiny pearly white and through the peritoneum through the mesh also you can see that so this is the assistant attaching the reducer over the cannula because the tacker is 5 mm so you have to put the top mounted reducer over the robotic cannula and you have to undock one of the arm if you want to decrease the number of the port then one of the arm instrument has to be removed and on that cannula you have to attach one 5 mm reducer and through that assistant is putting a tacker <clears throat> and the second assistant will put the hand over the anterior abdominal wall where you are firing the tacker so that tacker should be perpendicular to the abdominal wall and at the time of peritonization you should decrease the pressure of the pneumoperitoneum to 8 mm of mercury so that there should not be any tear or button hole over the peritoneum so this is a usual practice which we do in laparoscopy also during the fixation of the peritoneum so we can see now sigmoid is also again going and in the left sided advantage is that once surgery is performed and gas is removed then sigmoid also support the lower edge of the mesh that is the advantage on the left side so that's why sigmoid is not uh, mobilized and always we should give the incision above the adhesions of the sigmoid so this is the fixation of the tacker which assistant is performing and maximum with the right hand here we have removed the scissors and right hand is lifting the peritoneal edges and the assistant is firing the tacker so almost entire peritoneum is supported nicely you should take care that any portion of the mesh should not get uh, visualized otherwise chances of adhesion with the bobble is there this uh, tacker is of no use so you can hold it by robotic grasper and you can remove it because the tacker which is not fixed over the abdominal wall we should not leave it hanging with the peritoneum because it may come out and it may migrate to the wrong places however they are so small that generally they don't harm but then also unnecessarily the thing which is of no use we should not leave inside the abdominal cavity so this is the final firing and it's over and now this tacker we will remove it just hold it and rotate your master controller first to the clockwise and then anti clockwise and then you can easily take it out because tackers are basically a titanium a screw so once you will rotate anti clockwise it will come out easily direct pulling should be avoided because it will dislodge all the tacker 
and it will tear the peritoneum again. So, carefully rotating the anti clockwise will take it out. So, we can see there is one button hole is already there. So, that should be also supported and one more tacker you can fire here. However, if there is a small gap after removal of the pneumoperitoneum, that gap will automatically automatically close, but better to fire a tacker and now this useless tacker will be removed out. So, surgery is complete and I thank you very much to all of you for watching this video. Have a nice day.